In this lesson, we are going to implement product details page. When we are in the home screen and select a product, we are going to create another page to show the details of product. It includes the product image, product information, and add to cart action. To get the source code of this lesson, go to the repository, and in the comment section, you can find the code that we have implemented in video seven right here if you are ready let's get to code here is the plan to create product details page let us start by creating the product page go to the explorer inside the pages right click new folder and create product folder inside that create a file named slug inside a square bracket so put a square bracket and type slug and after that dot js so what we do here is to make the slug as a parameter by using a square bracket and when we have a url like slash product slash slug of product the slug will be available in this page using slug variable the next step is creating a component, type RFC and press tab to create a React functional component and change the name of component to product screen. Change it to product screen. Then in the render section, we are going to create three columns. But first of all, get rid of div and use layout. If you don't see the recommendation for layout from layout.js, press Ctrl P, search for layout in the components folder, then go back to slack.js and Ctrl space on it to get the auto import from components slash layout. Set the title to product.name. So we need to get the product from the URL. For this purpose, we use use router hook define query from use router it's a hook from next slash router so press tab to import it from the next slash router and then from the query get slug like this using the constructing assignment save the code to format it and from slug we can get the product Open your terminal, click on plus to create a new terminal and npm install dash d only in dev dependency at sign types slash react. The next step is getting the product from the slug. Define product equal to from the data inside the utils folder. If you don't get the recommendation like what we did for layout, Press Ctrl P, open data.js and go back to slug. And this time you will get the recommendation for auto import, get products and use find function like this. Find function accept, accept the function as a parameter to, to get the search criteria. So x goes to x dot slug equal to the slug that we have in the URL. If product is undefined, does not exist, just return this diff product not found. Otherwise, we have the product here. Save the code to format it. And inside that, inside h1, just type product.name. Save the code and let's check the result. Make sure that you have npm run dev running and in the call house column 3000, select a product, awesome. We have featured as a heading one inside the layout and inside the page and in the page title. Good, let's convert it to three column format to show the product image info and action. Get rid of heading one and add a dev with the class name padding vertically to rem and inside that create a link set href to home page 
and the caption is back to products. Press Ctrl space on next link to auto import it from the next slash link. Save it and there we are. When user click on back to products, user will be redirected to home page and when select a product, user will be redirected to the product details. As you see, we have slim shirt as a slug and here based on the slug we get the product and we show the product here. The next step is creating a grid to put three columns next to each other. Here is the parents of the grid, create a div element and set the class name to grid. For medium screen and above, set the grid columns to four and set the gap to three rem. Create a space between grids. So we have four columns and we are going to dedicate two columns for the image. So the first div inside it is gonna be two columns of four columns using call dash span two. And inside that show the image using image component from next link control space on the image and select this auto import from next slash image this import. So what we have here is a dev and image. The source of image is product at image. It's the image URL of the product. Alternative text is the product name and set a fixed width and height for it and make layout responsive. Save the code to format it. And here is the result. We have the product image here. Let's go for the next div. In this div, we are going to show the product information. Create a UL and inside the UL, create a list item and show the product name as heading one and set the class to text-large to make the font size bigger. Save it and that's it. We have a slim shirt next to product image. Next step is showing product category and product brand inside list items. We need to show the product rating too. So create an LI and inside that show the product rating using product.rating of product.num reviews and type reviews after it. And the last list item is for product description. Save it. And there we are. We have product details here. Category, brand, rating, and description. We will change the rating to star format. But for now, this is enough. The next step is for action div. So create another div after the information div. And inside that, create another div and set the class name of this div to card and set padding to 5 rem. Save the code and inside this div, create a child div to show the product price. So set the class name to margin button 2, make it flex and justify between to put price in the left side and the product price in the right side. Put a dollar because it's price. Save the code and there we are. We have the price of product like this. Let's go for the next row after the first div, create another div, set a status and make a status conditional. If product.content stock is greater than zero, make it in a stock. Otherwise, make it unavailable. Save the code. And there we are, status in stock. The next column is about add to cart button. Just create a button, set class name to primary button and make the width to 100% using w-full from tailwind and the caption is add to cart. Here is the result. Good, we successfully created the product details screen. It's the basic version of it. We will make it better in next lesson. But for this lesson, what we wanted to do is to create a product details. And when we go to the details of products in the product list, we 
get the product image, product name and information and add to cart action. In the next lesson, we implement the add to cart functionality and make the product screen better. Let's review what we did in this lesson. We created a new file named slug.js to show the product details. In the package.json, we installed a dev dependency named at sign types slash react to fix the auto import from react. And that's it, what we did in this lesson. Until next lesson, bye-bye.